Welcome back to my channel, folks. Today, we are going to talk about a true legend in show business, the one and only Ruth Gordon. But before I get going, just a word of thanks to channel member Shimon Innes, who suggested Ruth as a topic for one of my videos. As a super friend of the channel, he and a handful of other channel members are able to request specific video topics on a quarterly basis. And this one, it's a good one. Thanks again, Sean. Ruth Gordon was a force to be reckoned with, with a career spanning over seven decades. She started out on Broadway, writing and performing in several successful plays before transitioning to film and television in the 40s. But I'm getting way ahead of myself here. Let's start at the very beginning. Ruth was born on October 30th, yep, just one day before Halloween in 1896, in Wollaston, Massachusetts. She started acting at a young age and was already writing and starring in plays by the time she was in her 20s. Ruth's Hollywood career really took off in the 40s. One of the big roles she had was a supporting role as Mary Todd Lincoln in the film Abe Lincoln in Illinois. She went on to appear in dozens of movies, working with some of the most respected directors and actors of her time. During the 60s, she would play Minnie Castavet in Rosemary's Baby, for which she would win an Academy Award. But I really loved her in a role that would come a few years later as elderly lovebird Maud in the quirky comedy Harold and Maud. The thing that made Ruth Gordon so beloved by audiences was her unique and fun personality. She had a distinctive voice and sense of humor and was known for her quick wit and infectious energy both on and off the screen. If you stick around until the very end of this video, you'll see a vintage commercial where she demonstrates all of that infectious energy and quick wit. So Ruth was not only a talented actress, but also a gifted writer. She wrote several plays and screenplays throughout her career. Most notably, at least for me, was her writing partnership with her husband, Garson Keenan. And together they wrote the screenplay for a favorite film of mine, Adam's Rip. This movie is a romantic comedy, I know, surprise, surprise, about a husband and wife who are both lawyers and end up on the opposite sides of a case. The film starred Katherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy, and it was a huge hit with audiences and critics alike. Ruth's talent and dedication to her craft earned her numerous accolades throughout her career, including an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress for an appearance that she made during the 70s in the TV sitcom Taxi, a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress for Inside Daisy Clover, as well as the previously mentioned Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Rosemary's Baby. In addition to her work on the big screen, Ruth also made several really wonderful TV appearances during the 70s. I've already mentioned Taxi, but most notable, at least for me, was her appearance on Columbo, where she played an eccentric and manipulative mystery novelist named Abigail Mitchell. At the age of 80, she became the oldest actor to ever play a murderer on Columbo. You know, we talk about the Emmy and the Golden Globe and the Academy Award, but that's probably the greatest honor of all, if you ask me. A couple of years later, Ruth would make an appearance in a favorite movie of mine, 1980's My Bodyguard. This heartwarming, low-budget comedy starring Chris Makepeace, Adam Baldwin, Matt Dillon, Joan Cusick, and Martin Mull, along with Ruth, is a real treat and should be sought out immediately if you've never seen it. Really, folks, it's that good. Ruth continued to work in the entertainment industry until her death in 1985 at the age of 88. Her final film role was in 1987's The Trouble with Spies, which starred Donald Sutherland and Ned Beatty. Although that movie was quickly forgotten, Ruth has not been. She leaves behind a legacy of memorable performances and a true passion for the craft of acting. This lady truly was a trailblazer in Hollywood and paved the way for generations of actresses to come. Now it's your turn, folks. What was your favorite Ruth Gordon movie or television appearance? Let me know. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you clicked on that little thumbs up icon and what the heck, maybe even considered subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, mostly TV from decades gone by. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching. The new Subaru Brat has sleek aerodynamic lines. Just tell him it's good looking. Front and on demand four wheel drive. Say it can climb. 
a halo twin roof. It's a window. And it's engineered to withstand the elements. That means it's tough. The new Subaru Brat, inexpensive and built to stay that way.